Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to Books for Tea. Today I'm doing a spoiler-free book review of Lucky Boy by Shanti Sekran. I hope that I pronounced the name right this time around. I know that I said it wrong in my other videos and I'm really sorry about that, but it is kind of a really hard name to pronounce. Anyway, I got this book from Penguin Random House International in exchange for an honest review. So thank you so much to Penguin for that. I'm really excited to do this book review. Um, this video is not sponsored. I just got the book for free in exchange for this review and I will actually link you some website down below as to where you can buy this book in German stores because I am one of the German reviewers for this blog tour thing that Penguin Random House International did so check that out if you are German or if you're interested. This is going to be a completely spoiler free review so feel free to watch the entire video and hear me talk about my thoughts about this book. So first off this is an adult book and I usually read young adult but I thought that it was really nice to step out of my comfort zone with this one. So Lucky Boy is about two women. The first one is Sully, an 18 year old girl from Mexico who wants to come to the US to start a better life there to get some money for her family and for herself and she wants to go to her cousin who already lives in California however when she arrives at her cousin's house she is pregnant and nothing goes as she had planned. The second woman we follow is Kavya and she is an Indian woman in her mid-30s who tries everything to become a mother but whatever she does and how no matter how hard she tries and sets her mind into it she just can't seem to get pregnant. Their faiths intertwine when Sally gets arrested because she is an illegal immigrant and her child, her little son, gets taken away from her and placed into foster care with Kavya and her husband. As you can already tell from what I just told you, this is such a diverse book and I really really like that about it. I had never before thought about the situation of illegal immigrants who came from Mexico into the US and got children there because their children are legal US citizens, however they themselves are not and they might get deported and it's really a struggle to decide what will happen to the child who legally is a US citizen and still just, just a little child that also needs their parents. So that was a really really interesting thing to read about um, especially because the author of this book especially wrote the book to tell the story of those mothers who come to the US as illegal immigrants and what happens to their children. I'm really glad that we got so much representation for different ethnicities and people of color and everything in this book and the author of this is also a woman of color so that was very cool um, it's always good to read those kind of stories. What I really really enjoyed about this book was that there isn't any obvious right and wrong. We don't have any characters that are either just evil or just good at all. There aren't any heroes or villains in the story. Just like it is in real life, everyone has their flaws. We have very flawed characters in this book and I was very happy to read about that. Therefore, I was also really, really happy that we got to see both Kavya's and Soli's side very well and I really understood where both of them came from and I totally got both of their perspectives for the whole situation and I just really learned to step into the shoes of people that I hadn't thought about before. It was very very insightful for me personally. I found myself constantly questioning what was right and wrong and thinking about my own morals a lot. Um, like what do I think is right in this situation because really the book doesn't tell you what's right what's wrong as I already said and it just got me thinking like what would be best for a child what is happening what what should happen and it was very very good um, in that aspect and it really really made you think the writing style I also really enjoyed however as I said I'm more of a young adult reader usually so at some points I felt like it dragged a little bit and I got to know a lot about the life of women in their mid 30s or whatever and talked a lot about the work of Kavya's husband and stuff like that that just didn't really interest me probably because I'm just a bit too young to really understand all of that and to really like um, feel connected to it in any way um, but that's just me personally um, 
but yeah I did feel like it was boring at some points um, but overall that really were just very few passages where I felt that way and overall I really really enjoyed my reading experience. Um, I also want to say that there is a very big trigger warning for rape in this book. Um, it is very often discussed, it is sometimes shown in very gruesome ways and if you are triggered by that I would recommend skipping this book because it is a huge part of the story. Overall, I really really like this book. I want to check out more books from the author because I really enjoyed what she did with the story. I decided to rate Lucky Boy 4 out of 5 stars. Would definitely recommend you read it and I am so glad that I got the chance to read and review this book. If you have read it, let me know in the comments what you liked about it or what you didn't like and what your opinion of the book was and if you haven't read it, let me know if you maybe plan on reading it now, if you're interested in it and I hope you have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in another video very soon. Goodbye!